<laughs> we were just out here checking out this boiler today and um you know when we got here everything was working pretty well um and you know <clears throat> i was getting good heat out of a lot of the uh the radiators that we had upstairs but i did notice while i was here that our pressure was pretty low that's definitely one of the things that you need to get checked out you know maintained with boilers because flow is important um <clears throat> even if you're noticing that it might seem like it's running normally you know that low pressure can cause equipment to overheat and things like that if you're not getting the flow that you need and it can also put stress on the motors so it's good that we noticed that today it's also good to know as well too that if you have a lot of plumbing work done on your house or something like that or there's maybe some type of instance where particulates can be introduced into your water stream um <clears throat> stuff like your backflow preventer here and your press pressure reducing valve those strainers inside of them can get plugged up and when that happens this isn't going to essentially fill the water into the boiler the way that it needs and we're going to see that low pressure like we had today and then that can create you know further issues down the line and also cause you to lose efficiency and you know spend more money on heating because your equipment isn't working the way that it should the uh, solution that we found that you know is going to work best for this equipment here and what's going to help this equipment in the long run is getting this pressure reducing valve here and this backflow preventer replaced. Just because once you start to see that buildup occur on those strainers, the strainers can corrode, then they can begin to break apart and small pieces of that strainer and get into the components of these uh, valves here. 